Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Urban Legends video. Alright, another entry here based on your suggestions. This one having to do with a pretty fascinating concept that to this day there is still no physical true evidence of it, at least in the sense of when it's actually happening. And so that's why it remains a bit of an urban legend because after so many centuries of this very, very rare phenomenon occurring, even under today's timeline, we still don't have any concrete evidence as to how it happens, when it happens, and why it happens specifically just to certain people. So it's a pretty gruesome phenomenon, but it's definitely, again, on the urban legend side because of its mysterious nature, and it's still heavily debated as to how it occurs, like why some people happen to have it happen to them. So I'm going to list and talk about it here, and then no case some notable examples, so that way you can see some of the information. Uh, be forewarned, it's a little bit more on the gruesome side when it comes to the urban legend stuff. I'm going to include pictures, but not of the actual stuff itself. Some of the, I guess, lighter tone pictures are the ones that are going to be included, and I'm talking about the urban legend known as the spontaneous human combustion. So I'm sure you've heard of this term before. It's one of those uh, things where you come across it in life. It comes it either f comes up on some website every now and then. There are stories related to it. It gets shared by email. It gets posted on some social site. Invariably, some news articles will talk about it, um, but only because every now and then again, we do have examples of people suffering, unfortunately, from this condition. And when that occurs, then the entire history of the urban legend again starts all over again and people become interested in it. So what is spontaneous human combustion? Well, basically, it's the idea that somehow, some way, you have a body, a human body, that becomes on fire, almost like the human torch from the Marvel comics when he screams flame on. In this case though, it, there's no laughing matter because you're dealing with something involving an internal combustion of some sort, some kind of chemical reaction or something else entirely different, but it causes the person's body to, at least in theory, to become in flames. And when that happens, they essentially burn from the inside out. So unlike, let's say, someone unfortunately dying in a fire uh, in their apartment uh, that happens to have uh, been on fire because of, let's say, a gas leak or something along those lines, those are instances where the body burns from the outside in. No, in this case, it has to do with the opposite. Here you have a body that has something happen to it, and then on the inside, that's when it, the flame grows, comes out of the body, and then it burns that person's body to ashes. There are several notable traits about the cases involved with this spontaneous human combustion and they all seem to have similarities to them and I'll talk about them and uh, it'll help explain in some ways why I believe in most cases it could be something else more realistic rather than let's say some crazy theories about about um, I guess these people suffering from something else entirely different. Now, as far as when this stuff started happening, apparently uh, spontaneous human combustion has been occurring for quite some time. We're talking about hundreds of years. In fact, one of the first known examples was back in the 1400s. There was this guy named Polonus Vorstius. He was an Italian knight of some sort. And the legend goes that he is if not the earliest, the earliest actual case of spontaneous human combustion, uh, people state that he, in some night, decided to have a lot of wine. Like, let's say he just drank more than he normally did. He was known as someone who liked wine, women, and song. That's apparently how it goes. So, he consumed a whole bunch of wine that night, and then, all of a sudden, he started to, I guess, cough. Like, it started to be like something was happening within him that he wasn't, that his body wasn't agreeing with. And then, much to people's shock, he actually started to cough up flame. Like, actual 
flame. It vomited this flame straight out of his mouth. And then they witness, unfortunately, him essentially bursting into flames outright right then and there. So in front of everybody, he burst out into flames and that was it. I mean, he burned himself to death right then and there to ashes. So that is at least one of the earliest known instances of the case. By the way, the similarities with regards to the spontaneous new combustion one of the ones that I'll talk with here is that the way that the bodies burn makes them very peculiar they only tend to burn within their entire body's area so they could be sitting next to something else another table they could be sitting next to uh, a window they could be sitting next to just anything else that's near them but that other thing that's near them does not burst into flames either or, there, or the flames do not touch the item whether how however close they are to the body instead there's this weird phenomenon where the body itself is the only thing that burns despite having many other flammable things surrounding it so such was the case with this guy as well wherever he was his body was the only thing that burned and then on top of that the other similarity is the body itself once it burns it mysteriously leaves the hands and or the feet untouched so a lot of photos that are circulating out there in the internet that showcase examples of spontaneous human combustion showcase uh, similar things like you'll see a pile of ash because in most cases the bones are also reduced to ash almost as if and exactly in some cases you know and when you think about it it's it's as if they were taken and cremated except only the center part of the body and that includes everything as far as the head the skull the neck the chest area the the stomach area and then the pelvic area but mysteriously the arms and or the legs at least those with no the lead the knees seem to be left untouched and that makes the photos a lot more eerie because it basically looks like they blew up from the inside out almost like um again like uh, uh like i was saying earlier with the human torch whenever they burst into flames they did but um everything as far as anything uh spreading outward no it just stayed within their actual body and then their circumference of their body and that was it another similar area with these bodies is they seem to only affect people when they by, are by themselves and when they're elderly like that seems to be the most common case like there's some more cases involving some details um there was one the most recent one i think uh, the article is mentioning was back in 2011 there was an irish person that's uh made headlines in september of 2011 that they were involved in also a spontaneous human combustion it was an elderly man of some sort and he was found near the furnace of his apartment and they were obviously the people that came in they investigate they try to see what well, was the furnace part of it no it was not in fact it probably wasn't even turned on because it wasn't even considered afterward as any kind of source of the fire instead the body itself of this elderly man was just by himself but he was near that area and then that's where he was found there were burn marks on the floor directly below his body and then directly above the body so there were burn marks on the floor and then on the ceiling but again, it held to the same theories that when you have these cases, they seem to affect people that are only by themselves, they're elderly, and they seem to have, I guess, a trait where they're either sitting down or they're laying in some kind of bed. So quite, quite interesting stuff. One more case that I'll read for you here has to do with um, what the and it's notable because apparently it's the only one that involves a witness of sorts um, there was a case involving two people um, one of them was a woman she was mentally disabled she lived with her father unfortunately this mentally disabled woman is the one that became involved in this spontaneous human combustion because the way it goes is the father who took care of her and had to take care of her because of her condition one day saw out of the corner of his eye a very bright flash and when he turned that's when he saw that she 
was on fire. Like, again, she was literally on fire. And so he tried to put it out as quickly as he could, but much to his shock, she was there not helping out. Like, she was just calmly, again, sitting down, one of the other traits, similarities when it comes to the spontaneous human combustion. She was there calmly sitting down in a chair, not reacting to it at all, and not giving any indication that she was in any sort of pain. One would think, of course, that whenever you have something like this happening, where you have such a high and hot degree of temperature, that people would react, but no, not in this case. And so he tried to put it out, and he he himself suffered burns on his hands, which indicated how hot that fire was. But she lived actually through that experience, only temporarily though, because unfortunately she later slipped into a coma and then died thereafter. So this particular incident has been the only one that remains a living witness of sorts because the father, much to his horror, witnessed this and saw that how she became a case of spontaneous human combustion. So how this happens though is still, there's no... Uh, discernible re reason or way to believe how but again it further aligned with other similarities where there were no, no burns around the body just one person just staying by themselves and yet poof you know there they are again 100 percent in flames now as far as any explanations and how this comes to be i was mentioning earlier that there could be a lot of real examples like you can just basically cite it as a happen chance of real circumstances leading to these unfortunate things because again these the victims tend to be elderly again they tend to be alone and i mentioned earlier that some of them need are sometimes near flames like these are people that are known to be either cigarette users or they have some kind of candles nearby the area or they use some kind of open fire of some sort and it's easy in one ways to add two plus two and realize that if some people especially those that are elderly and let's say they happen to drink a little more than usual maybe and this is just me surmising but again the, this is kind of stuff where you can add uh, real world experience at least and try to make sense of it and it's the fact that if you're if you're constantly near some kind of flames even something involving like your casual cigarette and let's say those ashes happen to touch an area that involves a little bit of alcohol then and let's say that alcohol was on someone's shirt then that's where something like a spark could come about or even then without the alcohol just any kind of cigarette or candles like let's say someone is lighting a candle and they create that spark with their match well that little spark let's say it happens to again get on someone's clothes then that's when something else could happen because clothes as one of the articles i was reading points out it's it's still pretty flammable. It's, it's made up of cotton. It's made up of polyester. And so when you have a little spark touching it, then it can go up in flames. Not as quickly, of course. Otherwise, there would be a whole bunch more tales of people experiencing this kind of stuff. But under the unfortunate perfect circumstances, when you have something like that happen, then those little sparks can lead to a quick flame and then the person is too busy trying to douse it out that in their f rush of let's say of, of of moving about quickly and trying to pat themselves out they are adding more quote-unquote fuel to the flame by creating more oxygen and just running about more quickly it just fans the flame if you will and then that's where they succumb to the injury there's also the idea and this is much more skeptical I mean this is something this is why it's on the urban legend side because it, it's there's no way to tr prove this but it's the idea that people can have some kind of internal chemical reaction of sort something completely out of their control either something as a chemical goes the wrong way within their body or who knows like maybe they themselves experience something and become way too hot uh, who knows but something that causes them to burn a chemical within their body and that flame shoots out or starts that spark then that's where it leads to the idea of internal human combustion this though again is so much more skeptical because again when you have something like so many uh, billions of people on earth all people essentially being of the same makeup the same chemical makeup um, you would have far more circumstances like this so why it's only happening to a few people who knows um, it could be some people that have uh, let's say a lot more alcohol within their bodies um, again one of the other things the similarities is to people being alone being elderly 
they seem to have in some cases more alcohol to consume like I was mentioning earlier so they could have more alcohol input in their body and so that leads to the wrong mix at the wrong time of chemicals there's even more uh, even far more skeptical stuff like involving sunspots involving cosmic storms um, involving vibrational energy this is just some of the more crazier theories out there as to what's causing this stuff so if you're interested in reading more information I'm sure it's out there on the internet uh, there's there's bound to be more articles related to it that'll help explain further detail but at least with regards to the real world stuff I'm still of the opinion that a lot of these things again can just involve poor heaven chance you have people that are by themselves they're lighting something or they're near something that is creating some kind of spark and it just happens to land at the wrong place at the wrong time and then that's why they go up in flame and as to why the theory is well if that's the case why then is just the circumference of the body only in flames and everything else remains untouched one of the articles I was reading one of the science articles was stating that that essentially is because the body when it burns it burns and then it puts itself out so once there's no more fuel of the body in this case the fat within the body that that helps burn the fuel uh, that helps burn the fire for a little bit once that quickly runs out then the flames itself run out themselves and so when that occurs then that's when you essentially have the body just simmer and then burn itself to ashes but then that's it it nothing else touches around it because the flames are going upward as opposed to just like in the movie spreading outward in a quick burst so that's why that remains a key hallmark within many of the cases of spontaneous human combustion where it's just one simple spot within an apartment while everything else remains untouched so but anyways if anyone has any more information about spontaneous human combustion that would be great to hear if anyone has any more theories as to why this stuff has been occurring and why it impacts so so very few people again with the billions of people that have been on this earth and only a few handful of examples even to this day in the age of social media when everyone seems to have easy reach within uh, uh, being able to post something immediately when they witness something as shocking as this uh, why it happens so so few uh, examples that would be great to hear too so alright everybody Thanks again as always. Take care.